the day. Who wants to hang with Dad? Sorry, Dad. I have to clean out the terrarium and feed my wolf spiders. Maybe I could help. No way. Not after last time. So I accidentally stomped on one spider. <laughs> Six or seven times. Just keep an eye out for Fuzz Muffin, okay? Fuzz Muffin? My tarantula. He likes to get out and stretch his legs in the evening. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Luke, hey, what's the hurry? Ronnie is hosting a live action role playing session, and he promised if anyone goes down with an injury, I get to take their place. You can actually get injured doing that stuff? Sure. One time, a 10th level mage got his braces caught on a chain link fence. He couldn't utter incantations for a month. <laughs> See you later. Hey, Larry. Hey, Larry. What do you say we toss the old pig head around? Sorry, I have practice tonight. And pig head, really? You know what I mean, that, that the slang word for football. Hi, sweetie. Pig face! <laughs> if you're experimenting with new pet names for me, keep looking. Wait, you're leaving too? Yeah, I'm catering an event tonight. What is happening to this family? We used to do everything together. Now I have to make up holidays just so we can have a sit-down dinner. Oh, by the way, tomorrow's Pirate New Year's. Point taken. We all need to do a better job of making time for each other. Starting tomorrow. Great. Love you, Fuzz Muffin! It's a step up from Pigface. Good morning, gang. Look what I just dug out of the attic. I found these in a trunk next to what was either an old fur coat or the remains of a long dead raccoon. <laughs> Board games? I don't remember these. Oh, when you boys were little, every Friday night was family game night. Then your dad lost a patient playing a little neurosurgeon and had a bit of a meltdown, so we decided to take a break. But now my tenure timeout is over and I'm bringing it back. Little Choo Choo's Adventures in Tiny Train Town. This is for little kids. No, it's fun for the whole family. For ages three and under. Silly clown picnic party. How many pies can you stack on the head of a clown before he starts to giggle? I'm actually curious to know the answer. That game always used to end in tears. We were just little kids. Not you, your father. When that clown starts to giggle, well, you can never unhear that. Okay, so maybe we need to update our game selection, but aside from that, who's in for family game night? Friday night it is, everyone is in, no excuses. Game night on three. One, One two, two, three, game night! I'll go put these back next to the old fur coat. I've never owned a fur coat. In that case, I'll go call pest control. <laughs> Larry, hold up. We got a big problem. Oh, no. Coach found out I broke his coffee mug with the football. It was his own fault. He left it sitting out. He was holding it. <laughs> but I'm talking about a bigger problem. The Norsemen got their hands on our playbook. They know all our team strategies. What? But we play the next week. That's why we're meeting tomorrow night, to come up with a whole new game plan. Wait, tomorrow night? But I promised my dad, uh, uh, that is, my dad gum girlfriend, <laughs> that I'd take her on a date. Can't let the little lady down now, can I? Why are you talking like you're from the Old West? That's how I always talk. Partner. <laughs> And since when do you have a girlfriend? Since forever. I'm always telling you about her. Like when I told you about our date. Or that time I told you how I'm always telling you about her. Whatever, man. You can't miss practice. The coach has been extra testy lately. Probably the lack of caffeine. Yeah, or the first degree burns on his hands. Good news, Lisa. I just booked a private function for the Iron Santa Society. Iron Santa Society? It isn't Christmas. Although I'm pretty sure tomorrow is Pirate New Year's. <laughs> They're a Christmas-themed motorcycle club. They dress up like Santas and ride through town on their Yule hogs. <laughs> that sounds cute. Don't tell them that. You might wake up with a reindeer head in your bed. So what should I serve them? What else? Milk and cookies. <laughs> Fine, as long as it isn't tomorrow night. Duly noted. Great, so when is this event? Tomorrow night. <laughs> you just said duly noted. I meant duly noted and ignored. 
But I have plans tomorrow night. Oh, you do not want to cancel on these guys. They won't just put you on their naughty list. They'll roast you like a chestnut on an open fire. Wow, it's scary how into Christmas they are. <laughs> Greetings, fellow adventurer. If you possess the courage to join us on our legendary quest, then turn around and embrace your destiny? Greetings, recruit. Not now, Ronnie. I'm about to embrace my destiny. Nope, no destiny there. Who is this Ronnie? My name is Bruldar Flingbeetle, Elven Ranger, first class. And I am the destiny of which this scroll refers. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Unhand me! The note said to embrace my destiny. I was inviting you to my questing party, not fishing for a hug. So, does this mean I'm not a backup anymore? I'm an official member? Correct. We're short magic user for tomorrow night. Bamfrey the Untamable can't come. His mom won't let him. Wait, did you say tomorrow night? Why, is there a problem? Nope, just making sure I'm not double booked for wizard duties. Then it is settled. Let us embrace our new partnership. Girl Darfling Beetle shall henceforth choose his words more carefully. Bad news, Mom. I have football practice. I can't do family game night. Ugh, you're not alone. It turns out I can't make it either. Dad's gonna be so disappointed. I'm sure he'll understand. Have you met Dad? <laughs> Guess what? I just made wizard! You go to Southridge, not Hogwarts. No. I've been promoted to a full member in Ronnie's questing party. My first quest is tomorrow night. So you're ditching game night? I have to, but don't worry. I have a simple plan to smooth things over. I'm gonna fake my own death. Look, if we all stick together and explain to your father that we need to postpone game night, I'm sure he'll understand. Have you met Dad? You guys are not gonna believe this. I was just asked to be a keynote speaker at a cartooning conference tomorrow night. How crazy is that? That's Way to amazing. go, Dad. Congrats. Of course, I turned them down. Why would you do that? Oh, because I made a promise to my family. Nothing is more important to me than that. Oh. <laughs> New plan. We all fake our own deaths? No. We keep our promise to Dad and come to game night. And when those bikers come looking for their cookies, that's when we fake our own deaths. You can't miss practice. We need you. I'm sorry. I have to stay home tonight. Stay home? I thought you said you had a date with your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, right. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> she broke up with me. It was very sudden. Like, just right now. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. I guess what we had wasn't real. In fact, I know it wasn't real. <laughs> so then, why can't you make practice? Don't you get it? My heart is broken. I'm just gonna climb into my pajamas, listen to sad music, and eat ice cream right out of the tub. The bathtub. Fine. If you can't come to practice, then I'll bring the practice to you. Thanks for understanding. Wait, what? I can't let you sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You need the support of your team now more than ever. N wait. This could work. I could sneak back and forth between practice and the sad song and ice cream thing. Perfect. You'll be so busy learning new plays, you'll forget all about... What was her name again? Uh... See, you're forgetting already. <laughs> Lisa, I'm a little busy right now. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Well, here's a little rhyme I came up with that'll help you avoid a similar mistake in the future. When the office door is shut, then you must go away. <laughs> that wasn't helpful. Also, not a rhyme. You could have said, when the office door is closed, Pam's indisposed. <laughs> yeah, that is better. OK, bye now. This can't wait. It's about the event tonight. I've got some bad news. It's too late to back out. I'm just finalizing the details as we speak. I made a promise to my husband, and I intend to keep it. Even if it means getting on the wrong side of a biker gang. It's not like they're going to stuff me in a sack and throw me down the chimney, are they? Let's find out. Rips off. Our K 
caterer has a question for you. <laughs> I was just wondering if you require a gluten-free option. I'm disappointed you won't be joining tonight's quest. Me too. I wish there was some way I could be in two places at once. Well, you are a wizard. You could simply cast a doppelganger spell. <laughs> Yeah, um, you do know I'm not a real wizard, right? Of course I do. Now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe I don't need to be in two places at once. Maybe I only need to be in one place at once. Well, that is a much simpler spell. <laughs> Again, not an actual wizard. But I do know a place that would be perfect for tonight's quest. Is it a monster-filled crypt? Kind of, only less crypty and more backyardy. <laughs> There are monsters. Well, we do have a raccoon problem. Giant man-eating raccoons? Yes. Huzzah! <laughs> this backyard of legend will do nicely. Awesome. I'll see you after school. No hug? Ruldar is most displeased. All right, contestants, the score is tied as we move into the bonus round. Unlike previous rounds... <laughs> hey, Dad. So I guess I'll just pretend this isn't weird? <laughs> I'd appreciate that. <laughs> hey, you know what would be perfect? That red suit jacket that Mom never lets you wear because she says it makes you look like a cheesy game show host. That would be perfect! <laughs> I just have to find where she hit it. <laughs> Just head out through the back. I'll meet you when I can. You're not coming? Not yet. I don't want you to see me cry. <laughs> wow! The golden chamber of lore! You really went all out. Nothing's too good for my best bud, Ruldar. The portal leading to the realm of adventure is that way. Whoa, 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 hold on. The backyard is off limits. Why? Because my teammates are using it for practice and they'll let your merry little band of weirdos alive. <laughs> we fear them not. Luke will simply cast a protection spell around us. Ugh. Again, not an actual wizard. <laughs> what do you think's going to happen? I think you're gonna be attending a lot of nerd funerals. <laughs> Remember the deal. You refuse to cancel the event, so you're the one who does the baking. I'll check in and assist when I can. I can't believe I agreed to this. I don't think I did agree to this. In you go. Hi, Lori. Who's your friend? She's me. I'm sorry, what? I have to work on a school project tonight, but I didn't want to let Dad down, so I hired a surrogate to take my place. You hired a replacement you? <laughs> Yes, and she has a few ground rules. I don't do heavy lifting. I require a minimum of two bathroom breaks. I don't engage in small talk. Also, my mother's picking me up at nine. <laughs> you guys are going to have so much fun. <laughs> so, you, uh, you go to Lori's school? Right, no small talk. Contestants, and welcome to Super Quiz! <laughs> Thank you. I'm your host, Lane Stanley. We know your name, Dad. <laughs> Why are you in your football uniform? Oh, y you know, just putting on my game face for game night. <laughs> I'll accept that answer. <laughs> Luke, why are you dressed like a wizard? Because it's such a magical night. <gasps> it is a magical night. <laughs> Lori, why are you not Lori? 
Honey, I can explain. And you know what? I'm sure there is a perfectly good reason, so let's just keep the fun going. Lisa, can I borrow you for a moment? Pam, what are you doing here? Oh, she insisted on coming over to make us game night snacks. I was just wondering if, hypothetically, you had a fire extinguisher handy to put out a teeny little kitchen fire. You mean a hypothetical fire? Sure. <laughs> Be right back. Go ahead and start. Okay, let's begin. What Major League Baseball team holds the record for the mo- Chicago Cubs. <laughs> you know, you should really wait to hear the whole question before you answer. Was I right? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the first person to start a small fire while baking cookies. No, but you are the first person to start a fire while stirring batter. <laughs> It's your own fault. When I dismissively said, how hard could it be to bake a few dozen cookies? You should have chimed in with, it's really hard. <laughs> if it's a cute fireman, stall him while I get cleaned up. Ronnie? Good even tied to you, Lady Stanley. A thousand pardons, but might I borrow a cup of wolf's bait? Yeah. I think we're all out. Why is that wide receiver biting that druid? He did not take kindly to being targeted by a flurry of imaginary lightning bolts. Ah. No matter. We'll see how he fares against our plucky bard. Play on, sweet Percival. Play on. Again, don't ask. <laughs> okay, next question. What famous comic strip cat first... Heathcliff. That was a trick question. You were supposed to say Garfield. <laughs> ah, welcome back. Don't worry, your team is doing fine without you. Luke, Larry, can I see you for a quick sec? We were just about to start the lightning round. <laughs> Speaking of lightning, you're needed in the backyard. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll go ahead and start. The category is... Lisa! Nope, it's poopery! I started another hypothetical situation. <laughs> How many... 17. Let's hear a word from our sponsors. I'm gonna go take one of my bathroom breaks. Hello? <laughs> I'm here for the cookies. Sure, I, I take whatever you want. Santa, cookies, the TV, whatever. Don't understand. I left you alone for two minutes. Hey, a lot of things can happen in two minutes. For example, I once dropped someone's cell phone in the sink and then tried to dry it off in the toaster and it melted. All in two minutes. Really? When was this? Oh, no. <laughs> Honey? There's a very large Santa at the door, and he seems to have decided that barging into houses to pilfer baked goods is no longer a once-a-year thing. You told Ripsaw to come here? He offered to pick up the cookies. What am I supposed to say? And before you answer, keep in mind, his name is Ripsaw. <laughs> What's going on out there? Oh, uh, I think the neighbors are having a party. I can fly! Wow, you elves have serious anger issues. I'm very disappointed in all of you. All I wanted was one night where we could spend some quality time together and have a little fun. One night. Was that too much to ask? Seems pretty reasonable to me. This is like an arrow to my heart. <gasps> Sorry, that felt like an invitation. I'm gonna need that back. Honey, we all have something we'd like to say. 
We are so, so sorry we let you down. Sorry, Dad. I'm Me sorry. Too. Judges, can we accept that apology? <laughs> yes! Apology accepted. You still think family game night's a good idea? Well, great. Larry, go get little Choo Choo's adventures in Tiny Train Town. Actually, we have a better idea. You were right. This is great. Yeah, it really came together. So, same time next Friday? No way, never again. <laughs> it's a cookie! Yep, it's a cookie. You nailed it. <laughs> I thought I put you back in the attic. Let's have a picnic. Our picnic days are over, clown. Don't know that's not gonna happen. When the pie starts to wiggle, I start to giggle. Not to giggle? Anything but that? <laughs>